I remember when I was around 16 and I was traveling back to Nigeria and I landed at the Lagos National Airport waiting at immigration and I saw so many passengers like in their bag they had like I think the British Airways blankets with them that we had on the plane. I wondered uh -uh, are these blankets free? Maybe I should have taken mine too. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the items, right, that passengers take with them when they leave a plane that are actually considered stealing. Like taking these items off the plane is actually considered stealing, theft. This video isn't really speaking to specifically Nigerians or Africans. It speaks to everyone, Caucasians, Asians, because this stealing or taking things off a plane knows no race. But I'm here to inform and educate my own people. Before we get started, why do people steal or should I say just take these, you know, forbidden items off the plane? I think mostly one of two reasons why I think they do this. I think number one, a lot of people are actually not aware that they shouldn't take these items off. It's just they're not aware. They just don't know. They don't know better. On the other hand, I feel like some people know that these items shouldn't be taken off, but they think about it like, uh-uh, am I, if I'm paying maybe a thousand five hundred pounds for a direct flight from Lagos to London, and you tell me the blanket is not included, eh? Then what is included? Because it can't just be the flight, you know what I mean? I did some research, asked some hair hostesses and some airport workers to let me know what items specifically are you allowed to take off the plane with you and what you can't and shouldn't. The disclaimer that most of them shared with me was that sometimes it differ from airline to airline, but generally the list that I'm gonna be sharing with you today is pretty much right for most airlines. Let me know if any of the items stand out to you. And also, which items in the past have you taken off a plane with you that you shouldn't have? This is a no judgment zone, right? So feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be looking out and engaging with you guys. Number one, blanket duvet. Apparently, this Taking your blanket, you know that blanket they give you, whether it's economy, premium, first class, taking it off a plane is a no. One of the airport workers said to me, he said, sometimes on arrival, um, I see people wrapping themselves with it at arrival. I believe this is one of the reasons, if you guys ever noticed that once you, before you land, and a lot of times the air, a hostess will go around to actually take the blanket and put it in a bag, right? I think one of the reasons is because they don't want you guys to take it off the plane. Because when you think about it, you know, one person taking it off a plane, you know, thousands of routes um, regularly flown across the world, this bill can run into millions for them, right? So it can be a very expensive loss for airlines. Number two, your amenity bag. You know that little cute amenity bag that you get that has like toothbrush, toothpaste, socks, um, eye mask? Yes, it is completely okay for you to take this off with you, your flight. You can take it off when you disembark. Number three, headphones. Headphones, are headphones a no-no or yes, yes to take off the plane? Well, Apparently, this is a serious no-no. And actually, another item that a lot of people steal or take with them when they're leaving the plane. I can actually understand why people would like take the headphones off because if you're in premium business, some of the headphones are so nice. Like they're so like, it's so comfortable, noise canceling, just like it fits well and it does the job well, right? But no, you can't take it off a plane anymore. Number four, slippers. Can you take slippers off a plane? Yes. The slippers that you're giving, similar to like the bathroom slippers, and I think this is mostly giving in like business or first class on some routes, um, you can take it with you. It's complimentary and it's for you to take. So feel free to take these items home with you. Number five, life vests. First of all, some of you might be like, wait, who even takes a life vest off a plane? 
it's actually a very popular thing people do. I, do, I doubt Nigerians take this off a plane, but it's a serious no-no. You cannot take life vests with you when you're disembarking a plane. Number six, pillow. Are you allowed to take a pillow with you? You know those small, maybe even economy, you know, the small, squishy, squishy, you know, sometimes cheap looking pillows. You know, when you're in like business, you know, the pillows are a bit nicer and first they're much nicer. Regardless of cabins that you're traveling in, it's a clear no, no, you're not allowed to take a pillow with you when disembarking. Number seven, pajamas. Well, some of you might be like, pajamas. Do they even give pajamas on flights? Yes, especially if you're flying some long haul business or most likely even first class, right? Cabins, you tend to be giving a pajamas with you. This pajamas is actually a gift, right, to you. So they're very happy for you to take it with you when you're disembarking the plane. So, yes. Number eight, earplugs, right? So those, you know, like, should I say cheap looking airplugs? Because they're cheap looking, to be honest. And they don't really block any noise. Apparently, you can take those home with you. To be honest, I'm not sure how useful it will be for you at home, given the fact that most of us in this day and age actually use, you know, Bluetooth, wireless enabled earphones. Number nine, safety cards. You know those safety cards that, you know, have instructions on, you know, in case of an emergency, what to do and what not? This is a serious no -no. It shouldn't be taken with you, not even as a souvenir, as it has a huge safety impact for passengers. Number 10, in-flight magazines. To be honest with you, I always thought like in-flight magazines were not, you're not really allowed to take them home, but actually it's actually encouraged that you can take those, you know, those magazines that it's in the, you know, in front of you behind the seats or wherever you're, you know, near you, if you're sitting in other cabins, it's actually okay for you to take this home. You can take it home, you know, make it a coffee table, put it in your coffee table, and you can be remembering whether it's BA, virgin. Yes, you're allowed to take those home. Number 11, leftover food. In case you have, you know, you didn't have your breakfast, you didn't have, um, and you were given it, and you didn't finish it on the plane, can you take it home? If you've given, if you've been given alcohol, snacks, Yes, this is an okay. You're allowed to take it with you off the plane. The only caveat I would say here is there's some countries out there whereby they're very sensitive with regard to, for example, you, you bringing fruits into the country, right, or certain food items. So just be wary because there might be some restrictions by the country you're going to with regard to food. But from the airline's perspective, if you have leftover food, why you want to take it with you, you are allowed to take it with you. And of course, this actually helps wastage, right? So it's very much encouraged if you want. The final item in the list is tableware. Tableware, I know I mentioned before that you're allowed to take leftover food, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can carry what the food is on with you. Tableware, it depends, right? For example, if your cutlery, your knife and fork and spoon is plastic, that is okay for you to take with you off the flight if you want. But if it's more like ceramic and metal and glass, right? It's a serious no-no. You should not take it with you. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you, I don't know, with clarity to understand a little bit more of what can I take off a plane with me and what can I not take and what will be considered stealing, right? I think sometimes airlines aren't really transparent to tell you that, oh, this you cannot take, this you can take, right? And if all else fails, ask the air hostess if you can take it or not, right? Because they would appreciate you coming to them to ask them whether or not you can take an item with you or not. Um, I really hope this video has been super useful. I want to hear your thoughts and you know, what you feel about this topic in general. If any particular item that you thought, ah, I've been seeing that for years, Funky, I didn't even know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for your support and love as always. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.